Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. I'm doing an introduction to an episode I've actually completed. So what I want to do is I basically I'm going to attack the Hydra and I'm going to show the whole fight. It takes about 20 minutes. I'm not cutting it, I'm not doing anything with it, I'm just doing it. <laughs> it's rather sort of well I can't say desperately interesting, but if you look behind me, you see I had did actually succeed. And I'm doing this slightly out of sequence because I recorded a previous video where I made the quantum quarry uh, but I'm going to show, I'm going to publish that afterwards now there's a few tricks I did try a few things I tried taking down a mob crusher to protect my back uh, basically to kill those shogarth things didn't work I tried this thing here I've got in my hand here a pyromancer's staff didn't make much difference to be honest with you and eventually what did actually work was interdiction torches I put interdiction torches behind me but they made one mistake I should have put them below ground by about at least one block because every time the Hydra turns around he will destroy any blocks which are behind him I didn't try obsidian or reinforce the obsidian but he did destroy I think he knocked away the the interdiction torches behind me and I was then getting attacked but I did achieve it so <laughs> without further ado you can watch this video in its entirety so until next time I wish you all the best hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls this episode I'm going to go and try and do the Hydra again I don't know what the trick is with the Hydra but we'll see if we can figure it out Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. I've got a decent bow with me this time, actually, so let's try that for us. Which has got infinity quick sh quick draw and all sorts of stuff on it, so maybe it's a pretty good one. Now we need to go... Which way? We need to go the canopy route. Oh, this is it. <laughs> There's a death marker there. We'll just uh, ignore that for the time being. That was a previous a previous attempt and a previous save. <laughs> In fact, what actually happened is I shot myself with the uh, a doom arrow. <laughs> Oops. Now this time I've got an idea. Oh, I've got lots of ideas, but this time we're going to try another idea now. So let's go down here. What was the problem was last time I was getting attacked by those shoggy things. So let's put this down here. See if that keeps the mobs at bay. And then we come underneath here and we just basically right click him. I don't know whether this is going to help or not. Doesn't seem to be doing too much damage, does it? It's got a soul stealer on it. Let's try the, let's try the ordinary one. This is, seems to do a bit more damage. As you can see, each hit drops it down a little bit, but the trouble is, it goes back up again. I'm holding down the um, the right mouse button, hitting him all the time with that one. And I think I'm supposed to. Well, somebody I read a comment about a meat meat stroganoff. But I tried it; didn't seem to make that much difference. But it's just going to be a long fight. Simple as that, I reckon. Lots of silly noises. <laughs> I 
when I get hungry I just press 2 and swap it over and press 3 because of that gluttony charm and I must admit that gluttony charm is just awesome like that I can't really think of anything, any other way of doing this. I've tried a few things. I tried putting down the, a mob crusher, didn't work. <laughs> Probably too far away, I didn't have any power, I guess. I also tried doom arrows on them, we just re reject those, didn't have any chance with those. I got him down to about a quarter and then he went all the way back up again. So I don't know what the trick is. If it does it again. I suppose water would help, would it? It regens. I think it actually regened when the sword went up. It might be a time thing. You've got to attack him fast enough for, for a long enough for a period of time. But I don't think I've got a weapon that's got faster than this one. I could try the katana again. And hit him a bit more often to work let's just go back to the other way so I, so I put the other thing down to prevent mobs coming from my back But it is just a crazy fight, this one. There's no doubt about it. I'm not sure why me strong enough would help. Unless you've got to keep doing this until he keeps... Maybe he has to regen a few times before you actually kill him. Difficult to say, isn't it? Anyway, we'll try. We'll keep trying. <laughs> what I probably should do is, uh, when I'm actually uh, doing the video for this, I'm probably going to have to do it a, a speed it up. See? There he goes. Bang. one does seem to be a reasonably powerful sword for attack damage and I don't know if there's anything I can get that's better than 41 except for going for a wyvern sword or something like that where you can get to 61 I think so I'm just wondering whether each of those pings when he goes back is actually a head This is a weenie bit dull. I think I'll come back in a minute or two.
Very good for finger exercises. <laughs> oh. You can't push him away from this spot. So you can't move him to a place where he can't regen. you get there. I've got to get rid of him haven't I? So we'll look. Put another one of these guys down here. Huh. Doesn't help me very much does it? This guy is a magical one. Let's put another let's put another one down here. Before the hydro regenerate oh gosh. Do without these guys, couldn't you? <laughs> How many how much health this guy's got? Not much good. There's something attacking me, or trying to. Down to twenty percent again. This is a very strange fight. Fingers crossed. I can hear mobs behind me, but they're not can't get to me. Oh. I can see him. I'm gonna keep it up this, even though my health's going down a bit. Two more shots, should get him. Up now. Oh, he's gone. The Hydra is gone, I think. Where's the trophy? Hearts, trophy. Hey, trophy! Fantastic. Right, you. Completed quest Hydra. Wow, that took a lot of effort. I can tell you that for nothing. So that's it. You just have to be patient. <laughs> Keep your finger on the but right mouse button with your shuriken. I seem to have some pain. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see what this, how these guys do. It doesn't seem to affect them, does it? Oh, 
What's wrong with me? What have I got? Oh, plague. <laughs> so that's what that one's about, the plague. Okay, good. Well, I think I've lost a few of my, um, oh no, torches. Let's see if we can go and find some of those. health 't do anything with the suits let's have a look if you can able to do anything with the last three with a shovel oh wrong one try again oh well it certainly clears it away bugs <laughs> right some more of these guys I'll just uh, sort them out how much health has this guy got difficult to say 61 Right, well, Hydra's gone. So that means we should be able to go past, back towards base. And we should be able to go over the, um, the nasty area now without getting too much damage. I think that's the case. Nope. <laughs> Acid rain is still there. I'll just go around it. In fact, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just go back home. Let's go and get some other food. Not just keep using our bread. What have we got here? Cooked food, huh? There we go. What shall we have? That looks pretty decent. What else have we got here? Some beetles, they're always good actually. One beetle. Should bring the colour back to our face, as it were. Good. So, we have a Hydra trophy. Let's put him on the wall here. Well, that was a really hard fight. A bit over the top, really, wasn't it? There we go. Now, let's have a look at the quest. So that was, I think, is it Magical World? No, it's Other Worlds. No, yes, it is Other Worlds. So now we've completed the Hydra, we get one loot chest, which will be not exactly exciting. And then we get to, ooh, an Orgast and a Knight Phantom. And that brings us to Knight's Metal. So the next one will be the Knight Phantom, I guess. But I won't be doing that for an episode or two, I reckon. 
have a look at this chest. <laughs> oh, it's outstanding. I wish we did get out, uh, outstanding chat, outstanding rewards when you've done an outstanding uh, a battle. If you know what I mean, it would make life a lot easier. So that's it for this episode. Sort of, I don't know what I would say about the episode. Really, it's sort of very long fighting one silly animal as it were it, it it's almost a bit unnecessary because it's not that difficult just keep going and going and going until you actually win <laughs> anyway until next time where i probably got to do a little bit more towards britannia and i think i've got to go through astral sorcery in order to do that so until then bye for now